our world champion, modern fantastic, so we sent her off for some real action, so Hina in Derbyshire to sample Life on the Farm. This one's name is Georgie, believe me folks, it's great, for everything sings out to us as we go through the gate. All the little pigs are grunt and howl, the cats meow, the dogs bow wow, everybody makes a row down on Jollity Farm. Regular as habit, the cocks begin to crow, can the old buck rabbit sing, stop it up a jumper, oh, do do all the little ducks go quack, quack, quack. Everyone says, how do you do, down on Jollity Farm. A chance to enjoy the countryside and muck in with the animals it's something that many city kids and their families don't have until they come here to Farmcraft in Derbyshire. The farm is just a few miles from the M1 in the Shipley Country Park and it sleeps up to 50 people in converted cart sheds. The children and families on holiday here all help out. It's a working farm. Pat and Roger Langham run it together. I asked Roger what they hope to achieve. Because we're in the middle of several big cities we thought it was an ideal situation where we can get people out from towns and just give them a taste of the countryside so obviously we're we're right in the middle of the midlands and uh, we can get people out here working with shire horses butter making milking goats looking inside beehives all sorts of things things that they probably never ever do in their lifetime we work mainly with rare breeds because uh, they have a far greater story to tell. I mean, especially if we've got young children, we can show almost a wild animal and then show how man's played around with it and got to the sort of animals that we're all used to seeing in a farmyard nowadays. Well, the majority of the people that are here are school children because it's school term. But we have lots of other kinds of groups, Cub Scouts, and also a lot of families come and stay with us and have a great time as well. It's a good fitness test, this. Make sure it doesn't get too slopped out. Huh? If you've ever wanted to try your hand at butter making, here's your chance. And you might discover skills you've never dreamt of. Mm. Yeah. 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 I'll turn that way to that side again and come to here. You pinch it up the top, you get a hand, and I'll You make your own breakfast and lunch, but evening meals can be provided. The favourite is a barbecue around a log fire. Everyone had a healthy appetite. That's what fresh air does for you. But some of the eating habits left a little to be desired. <laughs> of course, the animals need to be fed as well. And it was while the pigs were out of their sty that we had to do one of the less popular jobs. Everyone's encouraged to get involved with the work on the farm and, of course, with all the animals, not just by looking and listening, but by touching and smelling. And there's plenty of smells around here. Once York, the Shire Horse, had his new shoes, we took a cart ride through the woods. It gave me a chance to chat to some of the children. Alice, what have you enjoyed most about your stay on the farm? Well, I like um, the animals, but I like the game there, because I like the milk in there. You? Yeah. How do you feel about it as a holiday for children? Oh, she's had a marvellous time, she really has. I've hardly seen her, she's been so busy looking after all the animals and things. I'm so <laughs> Martine, uh, have you enjoyed yourself while you've been here? Yes, it's been great. So I love animals and scenery and walks. Real. Have you seen it really? Is there anything that you don't like about Come it? Come the black Come ram down Come there. <laughs> Earlier on it tried to book me and it frightened me to death. Right then, any moment now this young lady here is going to catch Evesham for us. The Jacob ram out there. And it's a very simple operation. You've got your crook, you know what you're doing. So off you go. Right, I might need some help, folks, so stand by. Stand by, right.
eventually I managed to catch one, the wrong one, probably because he was the slowest in the field. Oh, dear. <laughs> OK, I admit it, you're stronger than me. Well, obviously, Evesham was just a little bit too fast for me, so I've had to settle for ram lamb here. So you can see their horns look pretty fearsome, but in actual fact, all of these rams and all the animals on the farm are very harmless, and they're all very used to children. But this one, really, is quite cuddly when you get to know him. <laughs> cuddly when you get to know him. That's what they say about me. Did you know that, Cathy? Now, before I ask you about those farm holidays, let me sort out the price uh, of this one for the customers. A self-catering weekend costs £29.50 between April and October, and children under four go free. The farm offers five-day and three-day holidays as well. And you can get all that, uh, all the details.